Do you want a resume that will help you find your dream job? Or do you need a resume that will help you land more opportunities? If your answer is yes, then tune in and watch the complete video where today I will help you out to create and write such perfect resume for any job. So welcome to Career Cafe with Pratibha. In this video, you will learn to build a better resume that gets noticed by recruiters in just 20 seconds or less than that. Learn what's important on a resume so you know what to include and what not to. Write powerful keywords according to the job profile you are applying for. And I will also include the tips to make your resume stand out. Also, in this video, I will share a few resume samples with you. You can mail me at careercafe by pratibha at gmail.com if you would like to grab a sample resume to create your own resume. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. For most job seekers, a good resume is what stands between a dream job and the choice. Get your resume right and you will be getting replies from every other company you apply to. If your resume game is weak, though, you'll end up sitting around for weeks, maybe even for months, maybe you won't get a single call. So before you even get a single response, let's try to create a resume which will help you out to apply for a better job prospects. So now as if you have already mentioned details in above section uh, like your name, ID, contact number, in the next section you will include your certifications relevant to the job with the job title. Also you don't have to forget to mention about the internship details, projects undertaken and it really creates a difference you have if you have done any relevant certifications, courses or internship. Okay, so another must have section in your resume is the skill section. Here you want to mention all your know how that makes you the perfect candidate for the job. So there will be two types of skills you can include when writing your resume. One is known as hard skills, also known as technical skills, which are the measurable abilities and soft skills. So in hard skill, this can be anything from coding in Python to knowing how to create a blog. Okay, soft skill section will include your personal attributes. So these are the mix of social skills like communication skill, personal traits, career attributes, leadership, critical thinking, management, communication, and so on. Always remember not to lie about any of the skills. You can include some universal skills which are almost, you know, everybody possesses, such as leadership, teamwork, critical thinking and hard skill will include Excel, PowerPoint, Photoshop, writing, etc. Now first thing first, your resume should always convey a clear message like what you can do for the company, what are your strengths, what brings you the most excitement for the particular job and profile you are applying for. The second one is branding your profile. Now you have to mention what you can do for the company rather than what you are expecting from the company. These days most of the freshers make mistakes and they only talk about what he or she want from the company. In this way you you know create a sense of confusion in the mind of the HR. So here you have to talk about your accomplishment, what you can do for the company, how you can add value for the growth of the company. So you have to avoid using objective statement as well. These days objective statement is outdated. We don't use objective statement rather than we use branding profile. Third one is focus on the professional email, phone number, customized LinkedIn URL as it helps recruiter to know more about you. You have to highlight your accomplishment and you have to make it relevant to the company's vision and mission. Now, if you have to take extra step, you can add up whatever certifications you have done in your resume. So let's start from the beginning, like how the format of the resume for a fresher will look like. So let's begin. So the first thing which we will mention in our resume is our name, contact number, 
mail id linkedin url you can also add up and you can write your skype id if sometimes in future you are going to face and skype interview so now when you will write your name you don't have to mention that you are uh, you know writing your name such as name and then you start writing your name don't do that you will just write your name for an example if my name is pratibha i will just write pratibha after that i will mention my contact number which is a 10 digit number but don't forget to add plus 91 it shows that you are uh, you know ready to relocate anywhere in india so plus 91 will be able to reflect on your resume that you are ready to relocate now the third thing is your mail id make sure that your email id looks professional it should always be alphanumeric in nature so as we have already mentioned our name, contact number, mail ID, LinkedIn URL in first place in the resume. In this section, we will not mention any of those which have, we have already mentioned because it will become repetitive and irrelevant. So now at last but not the least, we need to furnish the personal details in the second half of the resume. It will include your date of birth. It will be an MMDDYY format, your father's name along with your mother's name. What are the languages you know, such as English, Hindi, and then you have to mention your permanent address you can also mention hobbies in this section when you are done with this section the last section which is very important is self declaration don't forget to mention the self declaration section very new when state that all of the above information mentioned in your resume is correct so finally here is how your resume will look like Remember that today, whatever I have told you in this section, it is basically for freshers. If you are an experienced person and then you are applying for a job, then there is only one section which you need to update and that will be your job experience. So this is how uh, there will be a difference between a resume of a fresher and of an experienced candidate. I hope you like this video. If you want me to make such kind of videos or if you have any queries related to resume writing, please feel free to write at careercafebypratibha at gmail.com or you can also write your queries or comment in the comment box. I promise you that I'll try to update more of the relevant information in this section. Also, don't forget to subscribe Career Cafe by Pratibha. Thank you.